today we're starting a new project. We're making a contrabass E flute from this bill of Cocobolo. Cocobolo is one of the most beautiful rosewoods in my opinion. Uh, incredible colors, reds and oranges to even purples, some yellows, other colors that really are gonna just, when we open this baby up, it is gonna be so cool. You can see, if you look along the edges here, you can see how dark it gets on the edge where it oxidizes. And then as you go deeper into the wood, uh, you get into the clean, clear wood. So, so let's do some cutting. <laughs> hey guys, this is Pablo Escalante. I'll be doing some of the narration for this series to come. This is a flute that I ordered about six months ago and I was just so excited that it was finally time to get it made. So I planned my trip accordingly and we worked on it for about a month since Brent and Maddie are always prioritizing on the ordered flutes. So something that surprised me with this Cocobolo log was that it didn't have that typical strong spicy scent to it when we cut it. And also it was lacking a lot of those deep oranges and yellows that you can see on the end grain. And it was more like a pale purple. It almost looked a little bit like Brazilian Kingwood. But as you can see on a picture later on this video, it only took like a week or so for all those oranges and yellows to come out. It was amazing to see. Boy, that's working good now. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Oh, you guys, I'm so excited to put this down. I know Pablo behind the cameras. Like, come on, dude, just do it. <laughs> Lay it down, let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah. specifically exactly. for this particular instrument we are talking about that piece right there big old contrabass it's actually why i was thinking of the edge because of these lines yeah that i really like the tightness of yeah. the grain here yeah yeah it's really nice these are nice too so what i'm seeing here is I almost like that better. Yeah, that, well, that's what I think, Bob. Yeah, maybe we should consider a little bit of sap on the flute for the flute, right? Yeah. Now, the thing is, it, it will definitely do more of that yeah. on, on here. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely liking more this here than this here. I just find it more interesting with this tight stuff and then a little bit looser and all of that. Hey, my question is just how much of that sap wood are we going to get? Pablo, I'm looking at this grain just thinking this is going to be a gorgeous flute. I think what you were telling me is that you really like the super, super tight grain, right? And the contrast between that mm -hmm. tight grain there. Yes. And then the more loose and lighter colored grain. Agreed. Yeah. And to me, the most interesting thing actually on this wood is these little eyes. And yeah, things. you're I think right. Those are super good. They're going to be really cool. But, you know, if we look at the end of the flute, there. You can see that the beam is basically the trunk of the tree. Yeah, and, exactly. And then squared off. Right. And so all of that tight grain that you were seeing over there, it runs all the way down and around. Yes. It's very clear when you see the end yes. grain. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's part of the trick of, of getting the flutes to work is figuring out, you know, where the best place to cut or even how to cut. For example, like we cut this piece, which is two and a quarter inch thick specifically because we need that much just to be able to make this contrabass heat right it's the finished dimensions is two inches but yeah no matter where we cut we're gonna get that we're tight gonna grain. get it yeah. yeah every part of this board is gonna have some of that tight grain yeah in it. yeah you can see on that other end grain you've got exactly the same kind of thing going on yeah that tight grain yeah 
the, the rings just go right around. there. Dude, look how awesome that Coca Cola beam leaning against the wall looks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's do that cut and see what happens. All right. So stay tuned because this is gonna be an amazing build. These contrabass flutes are just so majestic and just have such an amazing presence with their size. I'm very excited for you guys to see the videos to come. I hope you all have a great day. Take care. I think that's a bug. I think it's a bug or something. Whether you're dreaming of your first native flute or wanting to create some custom instrument, Wood Sounds is where your dreams can be made real. My name is Brent Haynes and you can reach me at 801-822-1415 or brent at woodsounds.com. Have a great day.